All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for the Heaven's Feel movie, number three. The okay. final one. Uh-huh, yeah. Sakura's got a dope dress. And she Shinji's cool dead. transformation. Shinji's oh. fucking... Yeah, you know, right. The way he should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All totally is right is. with the world, except not, for the... Not you totally, know, but yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. Whole, the whole apocalyptic, you know, event and the everything. The grail running rampant within her in yep. some way. That, yeah, that whole thing. But luckily, Shiro's not alone. That's true. He's got Archer's arm and a few friends that could maybe help a bit. I think she's got, or, or he's got a yeah, like a decent number of people that yeah can be called upon for for big support here, um, especially uh, especially Rian, given her connection yes. to Sakura. But and, they'll need yeah. everybody because even then, would that really be, be enough? enough? Because like the, yeah, we need no. to reach we need to reach Sakura beyond the exactly. Trail and yep. All yep. this pain and mm -hmm. all that shit. So, yeah. Y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, shit. Is he in the room? Whoa. Oh. Yeah. I just don't get it. Why would she want to kill Shinji? I mean, a life is a life for him, you know? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. That's some good animation. Yeah. Oh. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, so you need the... No. Whoa! Oh, hell okay. yeah, Ryder! Let's All right. go! Fuck. God, that's so cool. Hey. I'll need what you've got now. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Wow. Okay. I like that angle. <laughs> yeah, she's just gonna shotgun blast. <laughs> but she didn't open up with that. Yeah. Because she does have some qualms about killing Sakura. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy oh no! Shit. Trapping her in there with, um, all that. Uh huh. Oh, that was a kindness. Yeah. That was a kindness. I was worried they were going to detonate in there. Yeah. <sighs> oh, you can feel that little bit of resistance that she has about mm -hmm. doing this. All right, Ilya. Oh, shit. All right. Here we go. The cavalry's here. Yep. Oh. Oh shit. Nice. Oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> uh huh. Ryder? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That makes two of us. Mm-hmm. Just gonna casually take on a servant, like... <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. 
Oh shit! Damn it! Yeah, that's that's a bit of a problem. Yeah. Fucking epic saber berserker armor. <laughs> I know it looks like, like she looks so cool, shit. but also fuck. Why do you have to show up? Oh. Hi, Ilya. Hmm. Wow. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Shiro. But she's speaking. Uh huh. I think she has autonomy. It's just right. She is actually trying to save him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck! I don't think we've ever set up a finale with the the the, the like, odds so completely stacked against. I know. I know. Shiro, like. Like, we're gonna have to heal up Ryder, and Ryder's gonna have right. to be, like, giga-amazing. Wait. Oh, now we get the credits. Cool. Ooh. Nice. That's fun. All seven. Nice. Damn. So she took... Gil. She took Gil back then. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Mm. Alright, let's go! <laughs> Getting his blades. Is Kirei gonna be like the surprise ally? Super. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just like, uh, an Emia comes to me for help. もう広く衰弱していたからだ。どうさかの庭に出てきた。明日の朝には減らず血を取り戻すだろう。あ、ば。オッケー。ああ、オライ。イリアが俺たちを被って。桜に同行した。だから。I'm going to save both of them. Uh, well, see Okay. I don't like seeing indecisive Emias. Yeah. Mm hmm Having attained the contents of the Grail and right. all that as well, yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're getting Uncle Kire? Like, what? Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Way before it came yep. to this. Very specific uh, kind of man. Yeah. Watch. He's taking a note from uh, Emiya's book, and mm -hmm. he has like flamethrowers and rocket launchers in the trunk. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Damn. Oh, that's cool. So can't sacrifice anything, can't obtain anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you were particularly <clears throat> kind of broken a <laughs> bit. Yeah. Kire, yeah. Like a proper priest, you know? <laughs> okay. I mean, if the unborn child were mind controlling the parent, maybe, you know, but <laughs> he's getting kitted out. Uh -huh. Look at my man here. Will I have to fight another Emiya? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
Kirei, can you shut up? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody asked Kirei. He never tried to pass them on. He he regretted, or he refused to take them on in a whole previous arc. Yep. I love that in a world of mages, you know, we still have to walk places, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless you got a car. <laughs> that, that is true. But even then, you know, we have, like, estates with, like, brick mm -hmm. buildings and stuff where it's like... Yep. You could just walk up on their house. <laughs> I wonder if Kire knows. You know, I, I think I think he's relatively smart. You know, but mm -hmm. even still, it's not it's not necessarily something relevant. You know, right? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh my god. So did did did, did Kirei just throw him? He just yeeted him! Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't have come here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm too much of a dumbass for that. Surprised Pikachu face. And Sakura Sakura before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Hearing. Sure. Yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, you're one to talk. That's exactly what you try and do constantly. Yeah, we can't be sure of anything, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> we were having a moment. We will fuck shit up before we let uh, yeah. Ilya get eaten. <laughs> we are used to fighting things that are grotesquely stronger than us. Yes. <gasps> Superhero landings are really painful on the knees. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Yeah. A <laughs> little bit of assistance. Well, but also the fact that Archer was the one to be like, no, don't, yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. need your help. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Well, here we go. Oh, fuck. Here Are we, we getting go. all of them? <laughs> this is so cool. I, I love this. The fact that Kire is actually like here to help out. It's uh -huh. just like And then knives. Fuck. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna get like dissected. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright. Ilya actually like Actually going off with her magic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. From you? Uh -huh. You're saying this? Uh-huh. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Kira's so fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, Kira just wanted the easy fight, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh. Wait, did Kira actually beat Assassin? I think he murked him, yeah? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Zoka, nice. All right. Yeah. He's, uh... You're kind of the worst matchup for him. Okay, okay, nope. Did... Didn't kill Assassin, nope. Hmm, who? Fuck. Oh, try and grab my heart? Yeah. There's nothing there. It's empty. Yeah. 
Yeah. I never needed it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Wow. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! And he's like, wait, why can't I turn into bugs? You came onto my ground. Yeah. The power of Christ compels you. Some divine shit. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. He's ushering you forth to heaven, uh -huh. bitch. Yeah. Damn. Holy shit. Zoken actually gets completely yeah. uh -huh. deleted. Just just go. Get go. the fuck out of here with yeah. that shit. As a final gift? Uh-huh. Holy shit. Wow. Fuck. Berserker's a monster. He's not necessarily good at tracking. <laughs> right. No. Sweet. When did he find out? Ah. Mm -hmm. He still doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. What's gonna happen? Mm-hmm. This is just gonna overload his mana circuits where it's it's just too much for the rest of his body. Mm-hmm. They're they're baiting us with this music. They're 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 holding yeah. back. It's about and if to it's, drop, it's if going. it's Archer versus Berserker revisited for the final like Shit. Holy shit. Yeah, see that vision again. Oh yeah, I knew it! Oh yeah! Let's you go. gotta have an Emmy rendition in each one. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, oh. let's go! Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, he passed him. Yeah. Ah, it's, it's what he wanted all along. Yep, we're here. Yep. All the things you've slain. Mm -hmm. All of it. Or the things you've yet to slay. <laughs> Across time. Yep. What? What? Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Is that some Kitsugu shit? Uh-huh. I am. What? Oh shit! Fighting him with his own sword? Uh huh? Fuck yeah! No fight at all, it's just over. Holy shit. <laughs> this is so fucking cool, dude, like. <laughs> oh, that's what finally killed him. Hmm, damn. Yeah, mm -hmm. he would have, he would have yeah. killed Shiro. And that wasn't even like the way he was as Berserker before. That was just him. Yeah, like the heroic spirit, like uh huh, yeah, so like beautifully yeah. bound to Ilya that. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Let's roll it again. Uh huh. Let's roll it again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fuck. 
poison. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, well. Sakura trying to understand fate lore. Just be like, right, right, right. I think I got it. <laughs> yeah. Damn. You're doing it. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, the aspect of Berserker. Yeah. Separated from the. Oh. <laughs> God, just everything about this design. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, you still have some work to do. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh. By taking on Archer's yeah. arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all the times he's. Died. Died, yeah. Oh, that's that's horrific, yeah. It looks like Ilya had the presence of mind to wrap his arm back up. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hmm. But it's not used up. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> How do you know mm. that? <laughs> all right, mm. all right, yeah, yeah. Cool. Zoroastrian. <laughs> okay. Sure. Huh. I like that this is going thematically. I'm interested to see where it goes directly. Whoa. Okay. Oh, but then the grail then was... Huh. Oh, shit. Right. To stop this from being unleashed. Gotcha. Damn, so okay. every time the grail... Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's the all the curses and stuff. It's wow. Okay, so we're answering one of the fundamental questions as to why the Grail is so fucked up on the inside. You know, mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> Just previous war did some crazy shit, and yep, here we are. Mm -hmm. Oh. I guess when you're a mage family that's been around for hundreds of years, you've got some, some, you know, emergency tricks up your sleeve. Wow. Was that the, the one that killed her dad? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Theoretically, like, I... Whoa.
No, it's a oh, yeah. ancestor, yeah. Aha. Cool. And thus the church was involved. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wild seeing the first. Yeah. Oh. A magical printing press. Okay. Yep. A little stamp. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa, nice, the tree. Uh -huh. the, um... Damn, okay. So because he now observed it. And right, and now see if you can create it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> that is such a janky way to use his abilities, uh -huh. I love it. Oh shit, Sakura's here. Wait, you see her? I saw her forming out, out oh, in the shit. hall. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no, okay, oh. that's Ryder. Okay, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> right, but your path is still connected to Sakura, right? Mm-hmm. She's giving him an out. あなたも桜を苦しめるのなら殺すために行くんだどんなことになろうとさくらを選ぶオッケーそれはいつぞやの質問の答えオンリーシロウ it's only stupid if it fails. Mm -hmm. Wow! Holy shit. <gasps> oh, and it's just... Okay. I mean, he's projecting it. Right, but... I figured it would be like a, a thing like immediately when they're about to use it, you know? Ah, huh. Wait, by child does she mean Ilya or no, does she's talking she... about Anya, the, the, she's talking about the, the thing that's... Oh, sure, yeah. Right, because they've been the using grail. that kind yeah. of terminology yeah. for it, yeah. It's <laughs> fucking <laughs> 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 Tosaka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> shit. Uh. <laughs> Reen's got like a spine of steel. Yeah. No. You fucker. He's still alive? Somehow or another, Palpatine returned, you know? Uh huh. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> it backs away slowly. Right. Wait a minute. Yep. Gotcha! You're mine. Nom yeah. nom. Zoken. After all, you have me. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, get, get him out. Wow. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. 
Beautiful. I thought there'd be more. And I thought those were like receptacles just... for him to eventually then fill and take yeah. over. Not that he had already had. Wow. You now have. Uh... Now you just have this whole, you know. Yeah. Possession thing. That thing, but, yeah. But, you know, but other than that, you're good. <laughs> Can you even say it? No order was given. God, I love how much like, like, oh, just punch every little conversation has in a fate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in a fate uh, series. All right, let's roll. Yeah. All right, the, the whole squad. Hero. Classic. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We can we can do a cooking show. Just come here. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna head pat you. I'm gonna head pat you so fucking nice. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Call him Shiro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. Let's, Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh fuck, that means it's gonna be Ryder versus Saber. Or Shiro versus Saber. Oh. Nice. Did Rin just make like a teleport field or something? Or Rin just doing mage shit. Mm-hmm. Casually being a goaded mage. Yep. No big deal. This doesn't look like a good environment for a saber fight, is all I'm gonna say. It's too cramped. <laughs> well, maybe uh, maybe if they went to like uh, a reality marble. Telling Shiro to prioritize his life above all else. <laughs> good one. Hey, Rock, could you stop being a rock? <laughs> <laughs> now see, this looks like a... This does. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. There's something about a cave atrium that just gets me gets me in the like the high fantasy vibes all right okay right only one getting past here is shiro oh shit no oh yeah. okay huh. that's 20 rounds of combat i'll yep. take that <laughs> the confidence to say mm -hmm. that, those words. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's why I love Shiro so much. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yep. Eyes revealed. Don't. <laughs> and totally off screen. They're edging us. Yeah. They're edging us. All right, here's our set piece. Here we go. All right. Yeah, it's got to be a, yeah, it's gotta be there a hill, we go. of course, as well. Uh-huh. Whoa. Holy fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that looks like the Greater Grail, all right. <sighs> the Sass Master. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah, there were only six. There's the uh -huh. one. Yeah. There's the one other one. Yeah. Yeah, and now we get this. Yep. Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck! This is just, it's just, it looks so good. Classic Elden Ring whip user just dancing around the perimeter. <laughs> Yeah, Saber is like very magic resistant. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how does the petrification or 
aspect work. Okay. Oh! It does stun her a little bit, though. The DM going, it's a magical effects, not a magic spell, bitch. <laughs> Saber's not doing the classic, you know, I look at the ground, you know, swing around kind of strat, you know. Nah, she don't do that shit. Uh-uh, too badass. Hmm. Whoa. Okay. So, <laughs> wait, wait. So that means... Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Saber's built different. Just spell. Just. <laughs> Uh huh. Used to trust. And that actually, that actually bothered her. Uh huh. Because she's actually just here. She's just, right. you know, under the dominion oh and control of someone that God. strong as Sakura. So, fuck, that was so cool. <laughs> fuck. We're eating good. We're eating Shit. real good. It's all so fluid. Because <laughs> now he's seen Saber Alter use. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Oh! Oh shit! Oh! He's just yes! He's using the shield! Yeah! Oh yes, yeah! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! That's one barrier down! <laughs> okay! Oh, the actual horse! Shit! Right the moment A.S. fell. Oh my fucking god. Of course, Saber's still moving after that. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, this Shiro has grown. Uh-huh. To be able to do this, whoa. Holy shit. Yeah, thank you. Yes, oh, that's literally. Like a fourth wall break right Yeah, there. yeah, that's, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. He truly does not even know the number of times that you have saved him. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just keeps going. <laughs> Because there's one one person that he cares about right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, go, Raiden, go! Oh my God! And Rin herself isn't super powered or anything, right? She's just running. <laughs> yep. But, but, but only Shiro can wield the weapons that he yeah. he projects. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I love this. <laughs> All right, this trick, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, try and absorb it. <laughs> oh! Just nope. <laughs> 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 
No, the dagger's dagger's got infinite source. It's just well, it was flickering. There's that part of me that wonders if it's like, if it's gonna like break or something. Uh, no, someone did. Oh. Oh. You never did. No. Yeah. Wow. あんまり他人の痛みがわからないの。そんな無神経な人間でもね。私が自分が恵まれているなんて一度も思えたことはなかったわ。Oh. Can she do it? She looks at her hand and it's like stacked. She's like, yeah, you win. Yeah. Nice. Whose blood? Oh. Well, we still have the gem, so we do. We do. So she's going to be okay, but that might have been the act that finally snaps her. Snaps her, yeah. Or maybe snaps her out of it. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool if it didn't end up actually being Shiro. Shiro just comes in and holds her and mm -hmm. promises to protect her and yeah. and stay there with her and Although, help her beat this thing with the grail together, maybe. They fight right. it together. Although I get the feeling it's the first one. Here's your boy. Mm -hmm. Save her. Oh. Mm. We. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go punch it and it's Oh my god! Oh my god! What? I don't think that's a... Uh, I think you might need some extra distance. <laughs> yep, and just like in the second movie. Yeah. Yeah! Rolling up the sleeves. Nice. The swords blocked it. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yep. Oh yeah! Oh 
Yeah! Wait! Oh, Fuck that, yeah! Because yeah, it's a servant, and this is the thing that can sever servants from masters. Holy shit! Fuck yeah! That's that's the fate I know. That's, Let's break oh some rules. Oh my god! And yet have it be like established previously and everything. There it goes. Fuck yeah, that's, that's, that's it right there. Uh-huh. Oh, it's not? Gotta get out of there now. The one, oh, oh. that wasn't her setting one up to. No. That was, that was the remains of Sakura. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Can you? Get us out of here. Bro. No, no. Bro. Yeah, no, you don't get to do this, dude. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nah, my guy. No. Gotta be like his father and destroy this one now. Mm-hmm. Kirei? Is this the I'm your enemy now, or is this the I'll take care of this one, kid? Go home. Whoa. I didn't want Zokin taking it in for himself. It's like me. Curse before it is born. <laughs> nice. Everyone's fate starts at zero. Yeah. Whoa. And fight. Fuck! Oh! Holy shit! Did you do okay? <laughs> oh! Just hug oh. his ass! Oh! Alright! Oh, whoa! That was tactical, Shiro! Well done! Shit. <laughs> 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 I I somewhat agree. Now say it, Shiro. Just yep. because you're correct doesn't mean you're right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, he just shattered his his wrist there. Oh, fuck yeah! The logic headbutt. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Knock some sense into you. And it just watches this. Yeah. God, I can't believe we still have so much movie left. I know. It's like. No way. Oh, come no. on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I mean, I'd love to see him die a third time, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Hmm. Mm. Shit. So was he uh, Mariki? Maybe. Or Makiri? The, the original? <laughs> huh? 
It's just him saying his stuff okay. as a priest, you know. In the end. Yeah. <sighs> And wish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I want to share a life with Sakura. I want to. Mm -hmm. I want to be with her. I want to. Yep. It really is done. There it is. Yep. <sighs> yep. Yep. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, that's that's perfect. That yeah. Oh. <sighs> Fucking did it. They all did it. Fun. Taking place in a club. Mm -hmm. And without, like, worry or anything. Mm -hmm. So, just Shiro's just chilling in the kitchen making food for his... <laughs> for his girl boss. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, they're really trying to, like... I know. ...bait us here. See, Shiro's needed a long time to recover. Oh, Them, like, this hanging so out and stuff. Sweet, and, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh-huh. What? Uh, Choto Mate. Then what was the point of Ilya's sacrifice? My man got yeeted to a parallel dimension. He got yeeted into the cooking show. Yeah, he got yeeted into the cooking show. Damn it. Damn it! Wait, wait, hang on. Maybe this is the cooking show. Ryder's here. Oh, they're so much older. Mm -hmm. Is it just the proportions of this? How about Green is tall? Mm hmm. No way. Wait, is that where Shiro is now? His body is gone, but his soul is... Mm-hmm. No, she's... Yeah. Okay, okay, right. okay! So, so... Yeah, mm. yeah. There we go. Yeah, and, and so the cooking show begins. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. That they, they they debated us for a second there. But of course, this is a full-on, you photoable movie here, so we're gonna mm -hmm. get oh, yeah. plenty of footage for these credits here. Yep. And Ed, New Year. You get to see them again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go together. Yeah, come on. Take my hand. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shiro's body was destroyed. Just the archer's arm was gone. Oh. 
All right. Cool. All right. Okay. We've done it. I right. completed our our next uh, fate. Uh, yep. Iteration property. Mm -hmm. uh, root of the franchise. And it and, was incredible. Yeah, like, and, I, and give it full marks for being not only thoroughly entertaining, but also being a a new staple that I will recommend to people to yes. watch alongside the Zero and UBW mm -hmm. uh, adaptations. It It is definitely something that I'm already excited to rewatch, mm -hmm. and the Same. idea of rewatching it feels even less daunting, like less daunting than it does for like Zero and UBW. So uh, a lot, a lot less daunting. Yeah, because I, I definitely every time I rewatch UBW and Zero, I skip about mm -hmm. probably about four to seven episodes each, but in different like parts. Right. You know. Yep. Because yep. there's a lot that's definitely like. Hit the favorite points, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of extra stuff in there. Yes. Whereas this has, in some ways, because it's in this format, you don't feel like the fluff is, you know, really that much. It's more in a lot of the directing kind of choices to mm -hmm. give you that immersive experience, and that's kind of I would say the most accentuated in the beginning parts of each movie. Like there's definitely sure. a lot of moments where they're really trying to help you settle in. To yeah, like watch get the a two atmosphere hour movie. of everything. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. but, but but all in all, like, wow. Yeah, it was, was it impressive. was incredible. And the bonus stuff that we got was mm -hmm. stuff that I was pleasantly surprised to get. Right, yeah. like, uh, you know, <laughs> just Kire in this entire movie series has just was an absolute treasure. Like, yeah. I don't think I've enjoyed Kire more. Well, okay. Mm. It, he was very. It was a very different kind of enjoyment in Zero, but like, I, I, yeah, I, I think like, I think Kire in some ways is a because he hasn't fully reached his zenith as a character mm -hmm. in Zero. He's it's his origin, so right, right, it makes exactly. sense that he's a different kind of character there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Sakura uh, is probably my number one as far as like the. I thought she would be great. In this, because it's her root, right? So of but course, I, it but will. I didn't realize she would be this good. There yeah. were so many things about the classic. I have. A horrible thing inside me that is uh -huh. taunting me and 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 abusing me to yep. believe that I am evil. When in reality, it's so multi layered in the fact that we have not only just the will of the the, the family mm -hmm. through Zoken being kind of imbued into her and and have that needing to be excised, but then we also have this reveal as to, ah, this is what the curses born within the Grail actually were. It's a thing yep. connected to an event from a previous war. Mm -hmm. Cool, that's a nice little lore answer to something that we didn't even realize we had a question about. Nope, we but just, it, we as, a, there. as the final piece of this puzzle, puzzle like yeah. of, of the three timelines and everything, that also feels like a very apt time to get it, mm -hmm. because then it's the, hey. We're gonna directly address it here. We're gonna directly address it here, and so that way you know what this whole journey you've been on over the course of multiple different iterations, what it is, how it fits into the grander narrative. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you know, get go into more in depth, go into more it. in depth into go other do stuff. The visual novels, and right, all right. That. You yeah. have you have a solid baseline and understanding, so that now you can do that. I, I do think that that's one of the points this movie does try to hit on two levels, is that it's very much the hey, if you're not going to watch any more fate stuff, you don't have to. Like you, you're you're okay. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. Obviously, the fake fans are like, oh, <laughs> blasphemy! But then yeah. then there's the other end of it where it's the no. If you'd like to watch more fate stuff there's or consume so more fate much. stuff, we are going to intrigue you with these nice mm -hmm. little, really yep. really good juicy lore bits mm -hmm. to kind of springboard you off to go and search out the true answers, the uh, the the extra stuff surrounding those things. Exactly. And, and thus the movie feels intimate in that we get so many good conversations with Sakura, despite mm -hmm. her being in the uh, in the story kind of relegated off to being the, well, one, the big bad in terms of the conflict, sure. but two, also the one captured in a cage that can't yes. uh, break out. Because the story multiple times brings up the idea that it's the, oh no, if only Sakura could be free, and it's the, no, that's the twist here, Sakura is free. She is acting of her own volition throughout like the right. majority of the movie. And the 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 complication yeah. is that there's other people throwing shit in the water that, that exactly that, that complicates things. Right. And and also her her power is one that she's uh not uh fully in control over. Exactly. The it is it is a separate it. entity mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that she has like that she's she herself 
right is controlled or is gone from the equation right, right it's just right. that it's you know uh, there's 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 extra company uninvited right. guests yeah it's it's something where it's 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 very tricky i feel like to try and write a character that is insane mm-hmm. one that is not fully controlled though but still has the feeling of being trapped and uh, needing to be saved. Mm -hmm. And yet all these other circumstances that stack up to why it's going to be difficult to save them are actually all just beacons saying like, this is the area, this is the target, this is the way you can save her. And thus it ends up being a love wins all, Mm -hmm. like heroic sacrifice, very very classic like well very classic with a twist right classic because, with a twist because yeah, exactly like, on on uh so bit of bit of backstory for me personally right mm-hmm. when i uh you know was like okay i'm aware of you know the fate franchise i've seen ubw you know right, i've seen fate right. zero and all that stuff right and i knew that there were three routes right mm-hmm. and i'd heard about dean stay night and that uh, nope it's the saber route and, and i was just like yeah no no don't do that don't do that right you know <laughs> uh, that, that, that just sounds wrong right and then, and then I'd heard that the other one was like Sakura. I'm like, wait, who? You know, <laughs> right? And then it's like, oh, the person. Oh, yeah, she was in like the one or two episodes of of uh, UBW. Okay, eh, you know, no, mm-hmm. no, I don't, I don't, I, I don't see how that could really be any good, right? Mm-hmm. This was, this was everything I could have possibly hoped for and more. Yeah. Like the it it played to the notes of the archetype of the of the story that was being done while at the same time being fresh in how it executed on it and considering that mm-hmm. the source material came out what 20 years ago right and it still feels fresh now yeah that's like i'm yeah. i'm 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 floored by that right? right like that that's incredible like no wonder people have constantly been saying like no you need to check out the visual novel the visual mm-hmm. novel is really really good right it's so like it probably, probably just, from stuff like this it probably just cleans the whole experience uh from being like one where you feel a little bit left out of the loop for specific things because mm-hmm. you're going to have more contextual information right but yeah like i i feel like i i i loved the first two movies for sure mm-hmm. And I don't know which one's my favorite now, because this one kind of retroactively changes a bit of my view on the other two. Mm-hmm. And also, it's still I'm still reeling from the emotion of watching it and the, the right. pleasure of in, of enjoying it. But the way in which Sakura is used to be this powerful, unstoppable force in the story, and yet multiple points has characters stand up to her. In almost in spite of the fact that she's like, but I am, like I'm in pain. Don't you like like the the confrontation mm-hmm. with Reen? Yep. And, Probably my no easily my favorite part of this movie. And they're deftly avoiding a lot of the pitfalls. Pitfalls, I would say, of having characters uh, not holding basically the uh, well. How, how do I say this in a positive? I'm trying to get at the idea that Sakura went through hell. Mm -hmm. And yet there was very clearly a point in this story where we started to see her adjust away from that. And it started with her living with Shiro. Right. Hence, that's where the story actually started. Right, right. Exactly. But over the course of that time, the Holy Grail War starts. Mm -hmm. You know, things start to uh, awaken the being that uh, is encased within the grail that she has a contents of mm. via the setup for the ritual right. that Zokin is trying Fate to accomplish. Magic yeah. yeah, well, basically, there's been a lot of things that were done outside of her control. Right. The, the, the idea is that you have a person who, uh, Kira kind of brings up the argument of, you know, environment and ego and what makes a person good or evil and all that, but, but Sakura's whole thing that the story kind of sets you up with is that she is a victim of her environment. She is right. very much one who has been waylaid h- horribly so over the course of her her past by her environment and is absolutely blameless in that. Mm-hmm. And as a point in the story, there comes a, a couple times where she has the opportunity to invite Shiro, basically, the one who is there for her into that situation. And Rain actually calls her out on that Mm -hmm. 
in the middle of their fight where she's actually resolved somewhat most of the way to kill her. Yeah, yeah. And right. It's, and yet it's like, so Reen has this beautiful mix of being like, I actually don't fully really want to kill you because mm -hmm. I'm looking at you and I can't help but just see my sister. Right, in the same way that when she had the had the, all the gems and stuff yeah, behind exactly. her back, she fired at her feet and didn't use those as opposed to opening with those and targeting Sakura, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, so it's- She she hopes, she wishes mm -hmm. that she could save her. Exactly, but but she's not necessarily, like she doesn't, she doesn't actually know if she'll be able to do that, right? right? So the fact that she chastises her so much in that moment almost feels like it's a, it's a, it's a fun subversion of the idea that people usually in these kinds of stories are just constantly saying, no, it's not your fault. It's okay. We don't, right. we don't, we don't, you don't have to worry about this. Just come back. And it, and it feels, yeah. yeah. And it feels like they're not addressing the person making the choices. They're addressing like, they're addressing like a, 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 a like a, right. like a, the like a subdued chained, Animal yeah, or something, the things that you know? happened to Sakura mm -hmm. um, cannot be understated, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that that's the entire picture, right. right? Yeah, like even if it's something where it's the yeah, no, it it makes sense that you would turn out like this, right? You know, because mm -hmm. you even said that to Rain, and it's like sure, mm -hmm. but just because it makes sense doesn't mean that you don't have any agency. Right. right. It's almost like, like she's trying to will her to save herself. Yeah, it's like I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and piss you off so that you fight back against yeah. me yeah. because you do have, like, you do have choice. You're your own person here. Mm -hmm. What is it that you want? If I piss you off and you want to and you want to hurt me, cool. You can do that, right? Yeah. Like and it's, it's been... the most sibling kind of like yeah, like, it is it like is. thing ever. Yeah, and I think that what was was part of her plan, but it's something that. Because uh, I think I think part of the plan was to see her hurt Reen in such a way that it makes her again kind of reel back and go, "What am I doing?" You know, because it's the, mm -hmm. "Am I doing this? Am I not doing this? Is this am I just a product of environment? Is there some kind of ego involved here? Is there some id, you know some decision I'm making?" But the idea that, oh, if uh, oh wait, where was I going with this? Damn it! Uh, if Reen, if Reen. Uh, was needing to have all this kind of pent up, like frustration, be let out at the situation. There mm -hmm. is she. Damn it! Oh man. Well, I okay. So I was making there. Uh, was let let me know. Let me know when you when yeah. you think of it. Yeah. So, um, on the one hand, I could see Reen also doing this because it's the I'm going to use every method at my disposal to kill her because I the logical part of me is saying that she needs to die, right? Mm -hmm. And I can't really afford to hold back because of the power disparity. So right. anything that I can do in order to level the playing field so that I can get my opportunity, I need to take it, right? Uh -huh. But, you know, maybe she's also doing that because I mean, hey, if there is a chance to save her, then I want there to be that opportunity. And then oh hey, she actually, you know, in classic green fashion, right? She thinks she knows what she wants, you know. But she doesn't entirely. And so, you know, then when she's actually staring down Sakura and is like, okay, here's my opening. I used the infinite parallel realities, mana absorbing, you know, dagger of, you know, miracleness or whatever. Now I can actually just stab her with a regular old knife. Uh, no, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Right. Because she has a choice. Sakura has a choice. Sakura makes her choice that she didn't even think was hers, right? She thought she was forced into it. And then, oh, hey, surprise, no, you still have you still have the opportunity to change. And I think that was my favorite part about how when Shiro came in to save Sakura, yeah. it wasn't something of because I am Shiro and because I am the guy who loves you and everything, right? I'm going to I'm going to save you or whatever. It's the no, she's still alive. I can still save her. Wait, we can still save her. Mm-hmm. What do you want here, right? Now right. you're actually dealing with the consequences of your actions of someone that you very much care about mm -hmm. is dying. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's what I was trying to get at basically mm -hmm. is that Rain was trying to wake Sakura up by getting her to address the very present person and needs that she is and she has. Mm -hmm. And if she doesn't do that, if she doesn't get Sakura upset like that. If she doesn't if she doesn't rile that person up, 
then what what hope is there? Well, then yeah, can can you even right. say? Because I definitely think she was planning to push herself all the way to the point where she's like, I am going to have to kill my sister. But the fact that she threw the blade as like a flash bomb, basically, mm -hmm. in basically the okay. I'm going to basically flip the coin here. Yeah. Can you make the choice to not kill me as I can make the choice to not kill you? Because one of the things that's very um, uh, easily, I would say, interpreted a couple ways mm -hmm. is when she leaps up to her, she says, you know, I, I couldn't kill you. You know, the second I got close to you, like like I, mm -hmm. I looked you in the eye or she says something like that. Yeah. But you could you could argue there were a couple points before that literal like she's one foot away from her, you know, six inches away from her that she's actually, you know, at right, that she's, point. She's still able to see her and like. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. She, she says it. I think it's right here. Uh, uh, yeah, because she makes the point about how she hates how how easy. Uh, everything was for her. Uh, Sakura comments on that. Sakura comments on that. Yeah. Let right. Me, let me find the the part here. Uh, it's right after the card scene. Because she thinks that. Oh. She thinks that. Uh, uh, she thinks that uh, Reen is going to kill her. I I thought that was before then when they were about to fight because then. You know, I, I always hated you because you did things so I easy. I just found it. I just found it. I think I just found it, yeah. Um, damn it. Damn it. No, I, I, I just saw it. Yeah, when I saw you up close, I realized I couldn't kill you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, your sister is so selfish. This is what I want. I want you to live. I want to save you. I just want to be sisters again. I'm glad you had the ribbon, you know, that, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff there. Basically just showing that she has the ability to make a decision out of the midst of this, even though it absolutely even, makes sense to, to kill right. her here. Uh, environmentally, yes. you know, to, to bring up what Kire brought up. Yeah. Uh, Sakura is someone that has to die, yeah. right? Yeah. Rin has to kill her, right? Right. There's no except no. She doesn't actually have to kill her. Right. Right. But but it would be there was a very convincing argument that she did. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's where and that's where Shiro as a main character is so fun because it's the he's too stupid to listen to that shit. Right. But he's yeah. He's he's too he's too focused. One one of the things that's fun to lambast Shiro for is how is how kind of thick headed he is specifically, yeah. and yet one of the things that makes him the protagonist is basically that he looks at all the things that are in the way of his goal and he goes, you are all obstacles. I'm going to continue forth on this path. Mm -hmm. Anything is in the way, that's fine. The, 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 the way in which he pulls out Rule Breaker to mm -hmm. essentially say, fuck your fate lore and all that stuff. Right, right. Uh -huh. Because that's what Rule Breaker is in the plot. It's yep. kind of yep. hilarious, mm -hmm. just that it's even a thing at all. Oh, yeah. But yeah. to pull that out here in the most, like, fuck everything. I'm Shiro Emiya, and I'm mm -hmm. going to save you. Yes. I'm, yes. I've got my goal here. It's it's the kind of thing where when you, when you think about it from Sakura's perspective, she just looks at her life and existence as the burden or as a piece of an environment in someone else's life that's going to make it just really hard for them and, and okay. horrible. And every single person that comes up here to save her is just like, no, let me be selfish. Let me just, let yeah. me just want, let me just want to have, I, I want all that trouble. I want all that. Well, you know, and uh, don't, let me take it on. Um, don't have such a high opinion of yourself and your uh, fucked up situation mm -hmm. to think that it outweighs what um, we want. What we want. Yeah. Right. And and I think that's that's what's important about Reen having the dagger and being able to go toe to toe with Sakura here, mm -hmm. which I, I love for so many reasons. One, because I feel like you don't often see uh, that in anime where it's um, two girls basically having the argument of who's stronger and and all the importance of it, which is just fun. But then two, it's the idea that no, 
you think you're a cog in this machine that you have no control over, mm. but you do, right? Mm -hmm. you, you this is this is not some unstoppable thing that no one can do anything against. Mm. Hey, little old me pulled a pulled a a, a fuck you out right? of yeah, out exactly. of time and space. Yep, yep, out of time and space. And now that whole thing that you think is unstoppable and that you're at the mercy of wave my glowy magic thing, you know, mm -hmm. right? And and suddenly it's not so it's not so scary anymore, mm -hmm. right? And so then that actually, you know, gives, is the, is the uh, rude awakening, if you will, that, you know, then it's like, oh, wait a minute, what is it, what is it that I actually want? Because right. clearly the desires of this thing are not absolute, yeah. right? And the, and the issues that I had, you know, in, in the past with the comparison game and all of that stuff, well, I thought I, I thought I one upped it, but it's actually, yeah. it's not as clear. It's not as straightforward as that. And right. you know, it's, it, it was just an absolute delight for me. And mm -hmm. then of course it, you know, keeps going from there and we get the actual like emotional resolution. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, yeah. But, this, uh, this movie was a visual spectacle and an emotional spectacle and I loved every bit of it. Yeah. I, I gotta go for Shiro now because mm. the thing that I, I really liked about Shiro as a character, this movie is, well, we have our, you know, other crazy fate ass pull magic thing of the arm being fused to him. Right, right. However that fucking works. Uh -huh. Who cares? It's fucking crazy. Same blood type, cool. you know. It's, yeah. yeah, who cares? It's the spirit's body, but, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's got the arm. It's a thing that involves acceptance, which is a thematic yes. tie-in to what Sakura needs to do. Okay, she yeah, believes I like it. that it's impossible for other people to accept her. Mm -hmm. But, you know, acceptance starts with yourself. Right. In order for other people to accept you, you need to accept you as you are. And you believe you've done that, but your actions show that you haven't. It, it shows in some ways that other people who have accepted themselves need to then come to you in your weakness and say, look, we accept how fucked up and our, how yeah. crazy our situation is. Even Kirei figured that one out. Even Kirei, even Kirei figured that one out. But the yeah. idea that over the course of this movie, we essentially have Shiro go on this little mini journey with the arm and self-acceptance to then having the awesome protagonist moment where he does the impossible and kicks reason to the curb and, yep, yep. you know, grits Just those teeth. Just because you're correct and, doesn't mean you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I... I I love that because fate has given me a special appreciation as a franchise for Shiro as a protagonist, mm -hmm. where I think when I first watched um, mm. uh, Shiro in, uh, I want to say, I want to say I watched some Dean's Day Night before I watched UBW. Oh, yeah. It took me a bit to appreciate Emiya. Same for and, me. Yeah. And now I, I, like, I mean, sits a while now, but I, mm -hmm. I, I love, I oh, yeah. love Shiro. But it's his his final conflict being a personal one about his own acceptance of whether he's you know good or evil or where any any of the things that he's doing can even re really measure up. I I I I kind of I kind of found it cheesy that he fights Kira at this this moment here too. at the end. I did too. But I I still loved it as the final final bit of acceptance that he's his own person. He's not Kiritsugu. Mm. He does inherit, unfortunately, the curse of being Kiritsugu's <laughs> son, if yeah, you will, yeah. and has to, you know, deal with all that. But because of that, he's able to then have the sacrificial moment, bear the blades of a thousand worlds, right, and, right, know, right. a thousand timelines and all that, and Which, have his cool sacrificial moment, even though you know it's all going to be spent and used by the time he wins, and then he'll be able to live happily ever after. But yep. we, we very clearly give him a, a, a proper send-off if he was to die here. It would, right. It would, feel, it would feel like the kind of thing that was... Uh, well, they made it all. They made it all worth it, and yet it would still have been too cruel. I feel like for this story, that would have been the creation of the, of the you know, archer of the Shiro heroic spirit in my mind. Right? It's mm. the it's the you know sure. being pierced by a thousand blades. I do the thing. I do the sacrifice, mm -hmm. and now I will for eternity continue to do that. Right? Right. And that's why I think it's really important that that didn't end up happening mm -hmm. because a lot of this series feels like the 
a alternate answer to the UBW situation. Sure. Right? Where it's the, you know. This is the best timeline. It, uh, it's, it's, it's in some ways the play on it. What if you think that the worst timeline is actually the best timeline, you know? Right. It's. Yeah, because Sakura's saved. For Sak- one. Well, yeah, Sakura's saved, but it's also Shiro's saved. Shiro's saved. Archer's saved. Um, and but it, and yet it's the thing where um, I was I was talking with a with a buddy of mine in my writing group, mm. and he and we were talking about fate, and he was talking about like, well, one of the reasons that I love Heaven's Feel arc is because it's where Shiro's. Uh, ideals actually get challenged. And I'm like, wait, mm. what What about UBW where Shiro literally shows up and is like, I'm challenging your ideals. And he's like, no, no, no. But those didn't actually, th- there was no actual like- Addressing. Uh, Shiro never doubted his ideals. He just ah. had to deal with this version of himself that showed up and said, you're okay. stupid, right? Whereas in this one, because it was something that hit so close to home, because it was with Sakura and all of that stuff, mm. he gets to see that Sakura is actually killing people and all of these things. That makes it so that he act- has to actually question himself yeah, rather he, than actually just dig deeper, right? Yeah, and he does, and he does reject his ideals exactly in this in but, this one by the way that he kills right Saber. both both kiritsugu's ideals earlier yeah. and then and then his own ideals with how he kills saber yeah. and and so then to have it end here where this is where the old shiro that would have ended up turning into archer in my mind even mm-hmm. if it wasn't this literally right mm-hmm. um this is in my mind how that would have essentially gone and while there's that part of him that would always be willing to do that hey guess what mm-hmm. somebody ends up being like I got you. Mm -hmm. You don't need to. Right. And I love that that was Ilya because Mm -hmm. Ilya is the purest example of the, uh, how how do I say this? Like she's the, she's the essence of fate lore in every, uh, in every, um, in every route that I've seen, basically. She's, she's just the, the, the magical girl, the magical bo- girl created to bear the MacGuffin. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It's it's an unfortunate thing where I I always feel like I I'm missing this whole aspect of her character that I want more of, but mm-hmm. just don't have a yeah. don't have an Ilya root, or maybe well, I you know, haven't seen it. But the thing that the thing that I would I would I would love to have focused on here is mm-hmm. that given that she kind of shows up at the last second, does the thing that mm-hmm. kind of ties in with what he had talked about with her in the beginning of the movie. So it, it is foreshadowed relatively well. Yep. Yeah, relatively. It is still kind of the, hey, I'm taking the whole thing away here. This last this last little bit of the problems with the grail specifically, I can then neutralize that with my, you know, aspect of sure. who I am. Yeah. It hand waves almost all the consequences away. But the idea that she in this act secures the desire and wish of Shiro because she won't act until he makes the wish of I want to live, you know? Oh, like, yeah. It's something where, where right. I feel let like... Let yourself be selfish. Right, I, let yourself be selfish. It's the kind of thing where I feel like he was willing almost to forego the, um, like you were saying, the path of Archer, basically. Mm-hmm. But in this last bit there that little bit of resistance of saying mm-hmm. I want to live was well, that little bit of that future dying. Right, exactly. And, In a lot of ways, yeah. th- one of the reasons why I feel like this was so important is because otherwise Shiro would be a giant fucking hypocrite. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I mean, you know, that's nothing new, but uh, although not as much because he wasn't actually the one who saved Sakura because that was that was Rin and Sakura both together right. but he helped but yeah yeah he helped but with the idea of this is about hey what is it that you want forget what you think has to happen or must happen mm-hmm. or whatever forget what fate says <laughs> yes yes I you would, know I'm right? literally thinking like, that yeah right? yeah <laughs> what do you want and so and so that's the that's the ultimate final final so lesson good. for Shiro so I I love that it happened here mm-hmm. there were some bits that I was a little bit confused because I at, like since Ilya was in the outfit I thought it was like a vision of like the past Einsburn you mm-hmm. know and then it's like oh wait no it's short no that is Ilya I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. um you know not important where the outfit came from I'm guessing um but well, I mean, she she does nothing from the beginning of the movie till now, so she's right, right, exactly. She could have prepped. She's for this. doing her. She's doing her own. Stuff right, she to get she ready did her thing. This. Yeah, um, and then and then he is able to 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 have his happily ever after with the rest of them. As yeah. a doll, 
because they infused his soul into a mannequin. Right. In the same way that in the same way that Ilya is a homunculus, a yeah. homunculi of some kind, Shiro could absolutely be one. And I, yep. I kinda I kinda like the idea that like, hey, there was a cost to this. Yep. But it's we're live in a world of mages and stuff, so we're gonna give you the happy ending as almost like a like a, right. like a like a true ending kind of thing where it's like there's a little epilogue at the mm -hmm. end there. And that's and even though you should have had the heroic sacrifice death thing here. Eh. You uh you 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 maximized your stuff with Ilya just right, you right. know, and 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 you had a you had a good like you had a good, you know, play of the game basically. Right. So And that's the one we'll place where I would I would love to get more info on like fate stuff filled in here <laughs> right. because I feel like that was, you know, for for very good reasons, it was kind of sped past because you don't have time to do that, but no. you're not exactly going to just change things from how they were in the original. Mm -hmm. Suppose you could leave out the fact that it's a doll aspect and people wouldn't necessarily notice, but, you know, like it, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah. I yeah. I, I yeah, I think it's I think it's I think it's more of a thing of where as long as we're okay with Ilya coming into the story and solving this problem, mm -hmm. the problem of him being like okay well, at the end of it, I think is no, no, him being of... him being okay at the end of it, I, I'm I, like, I'm very happy that that happened. Yeah, I was confused that he would need a new body because I was like, wait a minute, she's doing like the true magic, you know, I'll do a miracle here, mm -hmm. but wait, he still loses his body. Like, I think, I think that's the thing though, is that he was always going to lose his body because he was using the arm. She couldn't undo that. Sure. And I think that that's the part of him, you know wielding the thing that is the cursed, you know, object of his future and all that. And that's also a form mm. of self-acceptance in that he's going to selfishly take upon all the evil. Right. It's, it's thematically tied into the thing, but it's still a natural consequence. But her miracle is the, oh, but... Yeah, you've already made that decision. You've already made guess that what? decision. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to give you the option to change your mind, right? Right, right. Sakura already made her decision to like, you know, do all the crazy stuff that she did, you know, but you can always change your mind. But you can always change your mind. Yeah, so yeah. so and, and not, yeah, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You're not I a like slave that. to your future person's choices just as much as you are not a slave to your past person's choices. Right. I you know, it does there is that part of me though that hopes that they have some like uh very very uh, in detail spell things on the doll so that that way Sakura doesn't have to be like, well, I upgraded from bugs to, you know, uh, a wooden doll, even if it does have the soul of the one I love. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> magic is a hell of a thing. Yeah, but also, magic is a hell of a thing. Also, just the idea that if they do do the cooking, you know, anime, mm -hmm. they could just have some reference to Shiro where they like bonk him on the head and it goes, bonk, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like. I mean, that's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> He's always been hollow in there. <laughs> I do love the idea, though, that it does kind of feel like it's just, oh, no, now we're just going into the cooking anime, mm -hmm. right? It's like, yeah, all right. They went to the store, they yep. got food. Writer's there, you know, yeah. and it's like, all right, yeah, yeah. cool, cool. Right. That was one of those things that always kind of made me be like, huh? Because right. I, like, I watched a couple episodes of the cooking anime, and I was like, I mean, I guess, you know, Carnival Phantasm exists also, so, yeah, yeah, you know, so right? Like, you know. It's fate, it's fun. Right, know, it's fate, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and and the fight between Saber, Alter, oh, finally and Ryder. Holy fuck. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my god. Like, the, yeah. The, the fight, <sighs> the fight was incredible. But it's <laughs> just, I think, the idea that we got that fight in addition to um, the magical duel between... Um, uh, Reen and Sakura as well. The magical duel between Reen and Sakura, uh, Shiro up against Berserker, like yep. uh, Kire versus Zoken, Kire versus Assassin, like like there Kire were Kire versus Shiro. Yeah, yeah, Kire versus Shiro. Like, like there's so many fights in this movie that I I I can't yeah. I can't even really like compartmentalize them all in my mm -hmm. head. I'm just still reeling. I just never but. thought that I would actually cheer for. Kire, like in <laughs> during a serious scene, because like during the comedy scenes, absolutely right. But during the no, 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 I mean, we make them into comedy scenes. No, Let's no, be no. real, like, like <laughs> <laughs> no, him throwing Shiro for a, through a window. That's that's comedic. that's the one comedy scene. Like, uh, objectively, cafe, cafe. That's <laughs> that wasn't this movie. <laughs> no, no, I know, but <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> but like like having him like give the full beat down on Zokin, and we get to see his past as he's like, no, I was I was just. 
born fucked up, which is like, okay, yeah. We, we knew that. We 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 kind of were able to put two and two together, Kire. I, like, I mean, if you'd only watched this, you wouldn't necessarily know anything about Kire. Like, sure. this is a big reveal. No, no, right. This, this is no, all very no, different no. depending well, on your order. Of well, and I'm and I'm I'm not saying that as any kind of a negative. I loved no. the focus that they give. Is the no the reason why I became a priest? In case in case any of y'all were wondering, because uh-huh. you know that. I was trying to you save know? myself. Yeah. It's the yeah. Since clearly I don't have any of the any of the mores that apparently humans are supposed to have, I'm gonna see if mores? there's a, uh, morals. Uh, I don't know the literal definition of mores, but it's the. It's, I, I think it's more when you're talking about like societal type stuff. Okay. But um, so yeah, I'll I'll come here to see if I can find that. Mm, you know. Didn't necessarily like find what I was looking for, but you know, it was yeah, it was found worth a shot. And pain and, right, he found know, misery and pain and, and kind despair. of enjoyed that. Yeah. Well, yeah, he he found he found solace in the despair because right. it's the well, they're cool. It's inevitable. It's mm-hmm. fate, if you will. And and the fact that one misguided, you know, Baca. idiot, if you will, yeah. right, was like, ah, but I believe in you. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to see if I can give you a second chance. And you know what? They were right. They, they were, were right. also wrong, right? Mm-hmm. But does that mean that they were wrong, right? Because, <laughs> like, and, the, and this is this is where you've got that awesome parallel where it's the, uh-huh. he's the he's the sort of Negashiro, right? But you know, like, she was able to make him sad, mm-hmm. even if he thinks that it doesn't mean anything because he was just sad that he wanted to be the one to kill her, mm-hmm. right? Well, that. That's still something. If you didn't think you could actually feel anything. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? So, yeah. Yeah. I I, I really like that. But yeah, getting into the Kire pontificating Mm -hmm. monologue while fighting, it feels great. Because it's the exact opposite of the fight in Zero. Right. Where it's the... (laughs) No, no, no speak at no all. No words. Yeah. No words. We know what's what's going on. It's just yeah. mental thought stuff of tactics and counting and, up how much swords and bullets right. you have. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh yep, my yep. god. Oh yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, I think I think that after having settled now a little bit mm-hmm. after watching this, I do think. I do think maybe this is my favorite of the movies. Yeah. I could see the second one being still my favorite. Really? Maybe. Yeah. I, I think there's a lot I really like about the second movie. I think this one is my favorite one of the movies. Mm-hmm. There's there's that part of me that's like, you know, like I liked the Sakura like resolution so much that there's that part of me that still wants mm-hmm. it to be the ending of it, even though I do like what they ended up doing with Kire and Shiro mm-hmm. and all of that. But yeah, I right. think I think this one is definitely my favorite. And even like even comparing like obviously the visuals of the fights in these movies mm. are I enjoyed a lot more than the visuals of the fights in the previous works because yeah, you know totally. it's it's more modern and all that stuff and it's movies, you know, as opposed to TV show. But even then I feel like the the emotion that I had going into a lot of these fights, not necessarily all of them, but yeah. most of them also was higher than in a lot of the other works certainly UBW, maybe not necessarily yeah, I zero. So. I don't think so. I think I, yeah. I, I think zero takes yeah. the cake for yeah. me with um, uh, writers final yeah. final charge. I don't think anything emotionally comes close to that in a fight in in mm-hmm. any of the other fate stuff. Yeah. As far as I've seen, like I that moment is so powerful. What about Rain versus Sakura? Mm, yeah. No, no, yeah. no. No, the main thing with that is that that's something that's built, I would say, to stronger effect by the way um, Sakura is scared of Shiro's approach, basically, like mm. a- after the fight. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like the the relationship between Shiro and Sakura is one that I buy more than any other Shiro like relationship. I, I yeah. mean, it's really just Reen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's I I'm not a I'm not a Reen hater by any mm-hmm. means, but I definitely not that much of a Reen fangirl, I guess, um, or fanboy. I I do think that Reen's character here um is given like a little bit of a sideline to make sure that Sakura and Shiro are the main focus. Uh-huh. The moments where she's in this route though, I think are maybe peak Reen though. Yeah, I like so, I, so I would say that's probably here. the weird thing is that this arc 
Mm-hmm. And Root specifically helped me like Reen a lot more. Mm-hmm. This is this is my favorite that Reen has ever been. Yeah, like uh, Reen you know, was inconsistent in UBW. That's just well, my, that's yes. my issue. Yeah, I really liked her in some parts, and I really didn't like her in other parts. Yeah, there and, there were yeah yeah. But I, and, I feel like in general for Fate, specifically for this time portion of Fate, yeah. right? You know, uh, the the platonic Root. Is the best route for any particular <laughs> character, right? Because I, I just know. <laughs> Too I just much pain and suffering. Well, no, but it's no, not not that. It's the from the what little episodes I saw of Dean Stay Night. <laughs> oh, I God. certainly didn't like Saber anywhere near as much as I liked her in the other routes, right? Like, mm-hmm. like there's something. You mean to the characters that. are best. The characters in are the best route in the not theirs in the route that's not theirs. I raise with you, the exception Sakura. of Sakura yep. because she's not which is in why, the other which is why this right? is the best timeline. Well, and this is straight up the best romance of the yes. oh, of all three. Oh yeah, you know, like by, by, by far, far, hands down, no contest. It is actually plot relevant rather than just something that's happening with the characters, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I think mean, okay, some, that might be a bit. Much, I, I think but, in some ways that's also probably an adaptation thing as well. Like sure. maybe after you know a bunch of attempts, this is like oh we're finally gonna get the romance actual actual uh-huh. part of the adaptation right. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm sure it's the no 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 in the VN they're all actually like you know maybe a bit risque, but you know they're all still you know decently good. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. Some being... are better than others, clearly. You right, know, but <laughs> yeah, I could see that being something where like ah uh, the Dean Stay Night you know romance. The reason that that's not bad is because. It was in the mid 2000s, right? You know, it's like whereas the VN, you know, it's able to have the time to go into it and actually like make it work better, even if maybe the 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 tags for it, I guess, are you know, might be more of the like. Eh, you know your culture because you, you mentioned the tags specifically. Like you mentioned it in that vernacular. You're like, ah, yes. The, the thing tags. is, the thing is, I adore Saber. So you know, but but Shiro's. Maybe it's just the, uh, the you know, oh the Dean Stay Night Shiro. He's not good enough oh. for Saber, This right? video's going to get too long if we don't cut the, com- uh, yeah, the discussion Yeah, okay, that now, is a good point. What y'all, else? Did, did we forget anything? Y'all, yeah. Just let us know in the comments mm-hmm. what your thoughts are regarding this because, you know, I don't think there's going to be any more Fate stuff that we'll do on the channel. No. Probably not. <laughs> more. <laughs> this more. was the only... <laughs> we, we barely did this, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. But... Uh, yeah, we'll probably join you guys in the comments for, mm-hmm. you know, like discussion regarding fate stuff and things like that. So let us know your thoughts and things that we missed about the movie or things that you really like that yes. we focused on. Maybe relevant just lore. Relevant lore stuff. Pieces maybe. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're probably going to consume more fate stuff in our lifetime, but it's just the most of the rest of the fate stuff that's out right now is not channel worthy, I would say, because it's either super goofy and silly or yeah. it's, you know, <laughs> n- you know, not done by you. I mean, I mean, shopping. Uh, or, um, cooking show bro slot. <laughs> There's no relevant lore in there, you know. We don't. No, no, that, that's spoiled. why it's perfect, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next movie reaction and discussion, right now though, that we're going to be doing after this. I believe it's the Kaguya movie. Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's in four parts, and we're going to do them all in one go with little bits of discussion in between yes. each one. Yes! So it's going to be like a little mini episode marathon <gasps> thing. So if you want to see that right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out my Persona 5 Royal Let's Play on Twitch. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.